Buenos dias. Today we're going to do the Keras Trail. It's a valley walk, so following this river all the way to the other end of the valley. It's really steep this, it's in northern Spain. Uh, so we're not going at altitude because it's super high winds today. In fact, it's danger of life type high winds. Um, we're going to walk along this valley here, then I'm going to come back the other way. So let's have a look at that on the map. Starting at Carn de Valdon, we start the walk by passing over the river. Soon we find our way inside the tunnels. From here, we follow the river Keres all the way down the walk, crossing over on two bridges. The tunnels follow us all the way down the walk, as does the steep drop off the side. Although on the map it seems like there is some up and down, this is actually where we are inside the caves. Eventually, work our way down to the lower part, and from that point, we turn around and head back. Alison's with me today, she's going to take a few photos on the way. That's the valley up. Massive. There's the start point as we're coming from this end, really, into the valley. Oh. That is mountain runoff. Wow, what a start. This route's famous because there's a lot, it's basically cut into the side of the cliff. If I'll show you down there, you can see all the little points where uh, the path goes along. Walking surface is dead smooth, and it's dead easy path because it's obviously man-made. Whoa, a little bit damp underfoot in places. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Inside a waterfall. Look <laughs> 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 at that. This route is about 11k each way. <laughs> I hope we don't have to crouch for 10k. <laughs> If you're doing this route, uh, the ceiling's pretty low, so I definitely recommend a hat. <laughs> Danger. This route is alongside the River Keres all the time, so that's it down there. It's very, very windy today. It's the middle of April at the moment, so it's uh, not really walking season in Spain. So there's no one really here. But in the summer, this is absolutely packed. So if you're popping out for an Easter break, this is one you can do. But do be aware that in the mountains, probably super high winds. That's the view looking back. You do get some glimpse of the peaks as you come down and there's some great views. You're accompanied by this uh, quite steep drop off as well so just to get down there too hard at the scenery. It's a great valley walk this and it's probably the most famous one in the region. Uh, if you look at the Picas de Europa, it's walk number one, so definitely a popular one. When I've seen videos on this one, I've seen the research on it, so it was really busy and it was obviously summer. Uh, this today is about 20 degrees and it's absolutely fine. It's sort of Easter time and there's virtually no one here. There's like two or three people that we've seen. Fantastic all the way. I'm just going to pop in this next tunnel. 
these tunnels are cut into the rock all the way through it. Essentially a really steep cliff and occasionally you're outside. But again, if it's a rainy day, you spend half the time indoors. I'm gonna work our way around here and then we're across that bridge, which will give us a great view down the valley. But that's kind of, uh, uh, I don't know how big that is really. I'm gonna say, there's scale. There's Alison for scale. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say it's like 60, 70 meters. As you're walking around, you can see the little microclimates of flowers and things as you're going around. So, a few little pockets in the springtime. As we get up to that bridge, you come across this. It's a bit of a cave. And um, the signs are here just to tell us some stuff about the area. Uh, okay, so we've got some names of, of flora and fauna. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does drop off quite significantly. We just come up to this bridge here, then we'll work our way across. There's Alison on the bridge. It's got a little rock net on top of it because in these winds it is a bit of a concern. Oh, bird there. Wow. So we're going to continue along on that side. This is the view from where we've been. So we started round the corner, we can see the mountains just start and then wound our way around here until we get to this bridge. Crossed over the river now to the other side. Another little tunnel for us. A couple of travellers. Yeah, I've got a few of these flowers going around. I don't know what they are. But if you do, let me know. There you go. It's not technically challenging this walk at all. It's just a, a valley walk, literally. Uh, but the way the rock is formed and cut out just make it spectacular. Once you've been on this side for about 500 yards or so, we're going to cross again on one of those little green bridges and then we're back on the other side. There's our second bridge accompanied by that fantastic backdrop. Over this second bridge, we'll just get on top of it and I'll show you what's going on. You can just see the waterfalls over here there you go little tiny waterfalls down there there's the waterfall just at the side cascading down the mountain i'll just show you back to the bridge which is over there and there's a waterfall cascading down this side that's fantastic if you look at maps for Picos de Europa, what you'll see is, weirdly, uh, the routes don't seem to go to the peaks, and that's because they are just so high. Uh, even in this short valley walk, it's still very, very impressive, even though I've got no height on it at all. There's actually very little I can tell you about this route, because although I can tell you the length of it and it's going around the river, uh, it's pretty flat all the way and it's similar, but it's just really, really impressive. I'm not surprised it's the most popular walk. The impressive thing about this route is basically the scale. So just, you know, looking back, I'll say we've got no altitude gained at all, but that's just absolutely ludicrous. Windy, so best not to get too near the edge. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> well, it's the stream. It must be mountain runoff coming from up there. Well, they've made a little fun bridge with it. <laughs> I'm expecting some ducks to come along here. <laughs> little, little plastic ducks with hooks in their heads. <laughs> I'd wonder where that stream had gone. <laughs> There you go. Still no ducks on it though. 
We're about 4K into this walk now and it opens up. So you can see there as it goes down the valley. We're gonna work our way down there. Continue to just a lower level. Probably drops about 30 meters. This walk's not a flat level. It does go up and down a little bit. Uh, the total ascent slash descent is about 700 meters for the walk. Uh, but there's quite a significant drop right at the end. Right, here is another one of those tunnels. Yes, yeah, so I'm just near sort of tunnel number 24. You can just see, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's little windows in there. And that's that little stream going through there again, so. Weirdly, this tunnel's bricked up, I don't know why. That's not number 26. I'll check out the numbering system and let you know what it means. It's quite the view out there, but I'll just show you how it drops off as you walk by it. That's the drop off down there, so <laughs> watch your foot in. There's no railings. That's the uh, water going underneath the path again. There you go, it's flowing around there. And you can just see a couple of openings. So you must be able to travel down there. I get the feeling someone's missing out on a log flume opportunity here. You always do that. Sun's just peeking up there. There's that stream again that accompanies us. Uh, just for your own information, I am going downstream on this particular section of the walk. Have a look out there. These tunnels are pretty impressive on this side. Someone's made a little aqueduct. <laughs> well, if you do get a windy day and you're here, well worth doing this because it's pretty much just a straight valley walk. You're really protected because you're near the walls. Uh, so no immediate danger except falling off here. And the uh, danger of that as well, falling rocks. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, they weren't kidding. These don't look like they've been here too long. <laughs> don't fancy getting clocked like that. I'll say there are microclimates and then there are some uh, macro climates because just over here, it's like a little forest on that side. Going up. Generally speaking, the path's about six foot wide most of the time, so you can pass people. <laughs> I've now passed a few people coming the other way, uh, but you do feel a little bit like one of you needs to decide in a game of chicken who's gonna go near the edge. When you come around, eventually you hit this wooden bridge. That's the construction of this particular section. See them just freshly popping it in there, and the way it's bolted into the mountainside. This is a memorial for Victor Martinez, who's a guide in the Picos de Europa. Whoa, hello. <laughs> I didn't realize that was there. Woo, that was steep. There's that little river again. It's a little later in the day now, so I've seen a few people going past. Uh, they're all Spanish, which isn't surprising because I'm in Spain. But <laughs> what I'm saying is it's not really a tourist area as such here, so don't expect to find a lot of English pe speaking people. Uh, it's fine if you speak a bit of Spanish. <laughs> right, there's a couple of goats here. Van por ahí abajo, eh. Sí. Hemos sacado dos plátanos. Vamos, yeah. han venido como nunca. 
Looks like the shop shuts. There are a few wild goats in the area, but they're well used to the tourists and well used to being fed. Uh, so if you have got some sandwiches and you want them yourself, <laughs> just keep your eye out for goats because I'll mind you to death for them. If you're doing this walk, the views really come from a varied landscape. So although it's not, you know, ele there's no significant elevation or dropping at any point, it's just very different all the time. And it's <laughs> probably tinged by the danger of this uh, continuous drop all the way around. We're about six and a half K into the walk now. We just come across this valley view. The views on this walk don't really stop, they just keep going. It's absolutely amazing. You can see down here sort of the rest of the cutting as we walk down. As we get down the bottom of here, it just seems to get a bit wider. Then it is going to narrow out again, you can see. There's another little goat down there by that tree. A few dotted around the place. If you come around here, you can just see the waterfall that we caught earlier on. There you go, that's it down there. It's just emerging straight out of the rock. I guess it could follow this water course when it's really, really rainy. But yeah, just popping out there. Ooh, it's getting windy now. If you like tunnels, this is the walk for you. There's about 50 tunnels on it. Uh, the valley opens out quite a bit, so it's quite a bit more spacious than it was previously. So the path's gonna go around. We do get a bit of altitude, and then we're gonna go on top there, then round. Here's the ghost again. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I've got nothing for dinner, mate. Sorry. Oh, there's another one. Very friendly goats. And there's another load of goats down here. There you go. I wonder where it goes. <laughs> Working our way to the end section now. And there is a steep up, well, steepish up, that's going to come. So it's just that there. As I mentioned earlier, it's quite windy today. It's still windy. Uh, mucho gusto. <laughs> One thing I will say about this walk, it is windy today uh, and it was forecast wind so that's fine uh, but there's dust blowing up quite a lot so if you are going to do it bring a pair of uh, gaffers de sol. <laughs> Looks like a little cave at the top. On the way here, we've just got this impressive looking ascent. We're not going up there, but blimey. All right, so we're just heading up now and around there. This is that little zigzaggy bit coming up on the uh, ascent. Which is a bit of this, then we're pretty much there. Look at the way the wind's shaped those over the years. 
has been spoilt by going downhill most of the time. This little up seems a bit strenuous. So I'm about to turn around and do the whole thing again, going up. Okay, from this point, it's just straight down, and that's the end of it, just there. Hello. How are you? You're good. Got no sandwiches. Hey, I'm salty, though. <laughs> Shout. <laughs> you shouted at me. We're just going to work our way back down to the village now. If you enjoyed the video, just click on the like. And if you want to see more of these, just click on subscribe. And I'll see you next time.